Hello, I'm Herald Press editor Megan Grevy, uh, here with the December 6th edition of the Herald Press headlines. But first, um, for you, those of you who see this on December 4th and you don't know, Nelson Mandela, the leader of South Africa for a long time and an instrumental leader in the anti-apartheid anti movement in that country, has passed away at 95. He, um, he had suffered from medical issues for a number of years. Um, it's truly a sad day for anyone who knew all the, the great things he did, and if you don't know, I strongly encourage you to go look up his life and see the amazing things that, that he has done for not only his home country of South Africa, but indeed for the world. Um, back to the Herald Press, our lead story tomorrow is on um, the uh, the Peoria campus in, for Huntington University has taken um, it's kind of changed focus a little bit. Um, instead of being kind of in a temporary campus, they've moved forward with the idea of setting up a permanent campus. Um, what that means for the university that is that um, it'll be a more stable home for them. But uh, for the as far as when it's going to open, it probably won't open until um, 2015 or 2016, according to Huntington University officials. Um, and our centerpiece tomorrow, the um, the Pulse Opera House has presented Narnia the Musical for uh, all you C.S. Lewis fans. It's a musical adaptation of The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Um, it's, uh, they had a student performance today, and they have one again uh, tomorrow. It's quite a fun time for the students, especially those at Lincoln Elementary who get to see uh, their principal, Adam Drummond, playing one of the, uh, one of the wolf characters. So I, I think the students really enjoyed themselves. Um, another thing that the community was able to enjoy uh, recently was the Harlem Wizards came to Huntington North High School on Wednesday night and entertained the crowd and played the Huntington All-Stars, which included um, locals such as Mayor Brooks Fetters, uh, Huntington County Community School Corporation Superintendent Tracy Schaefer, um, Athletic Director Michael Gassaway, and Assistant Police Chief uh, Pat Shear. The Harlem Wizards are kind of like the Harlem Globetrotters, a little bit different, but they went out, played some basketball, did some funny antics, and, uh, and raised some funds for the school. So, that was a good thing. Um, another, uh, another story tomorrow is that second graders at Roanoke Elementary School toured some of the businesses in Huntington, uh, Huntington today as part of a um, kind of junior achievement program looking at helping the students be aware of, you know, how businesses work, how, you know, talking about community and how, um, you know, everything in community is kind of interrelated. Um, on our worship page story tomorrow, a uh, pastor at Charity Baptist Church, Wally Morris, has written a book titled, entitled A Time to Die, which looks at um, uh, end-of-life care and what uh, kind of the biblical perspective on it. Um, Tony Thrasher did an interesting story talking with Mr. Morris about, um, you know, how the Bible thinks and how important it is to really have a conversation about end-of-life care with our loved ones before, um, you know, before the decision comes up and we don't know what their wishes are. In sports, the Huntington University women's basketball team beat Spring Arbor 72-49. to Now they are currently 2-0 and in Crossroads League play. Um, Huntington North boys basketball team is set to play Southwood on Friday and Warsaw on Saturday. Um, their head coach Rob Irwin said it's important for the players to understand that on any given night they can play anybody. You know they can they can go one on one and possibly beat anybody in their in their schedule. So they just need to play you know play up to their potential every night and they should have a pretty good uh, pretty good season ahead of them. Um, the Huntington North girls basketball team is set to play Marion on Friday, which is a pretty big rivalry. Um, head coach Brianne Dyer said that, you know, although the, um, the the Vikings have been struggling in the beginning of their games in the first quarter, they've really stuck with all their opponents throughout the next three quarters. So if they can just kind of keep it close or stay or get ahead in the first quarter and, you know, kind of do what they've been doing in the, you know, second through fourth quarters in the game in the first quarter, they really have a, a a chance to bring their season back around. Also in our sports section yesterday, um, our wrestlers, are the Viking wrestlers, are set for their home tournament this Saturday. Um, Coach Kyle Wood said that the uh, Oak Hill and Carroll will be really good, um, what he called measuring sticks for the, for the team to see where they are in the season and kind of what they need to improve on. And then finally, paper, 
Uh, Huntington University is going to host the Junior Olympics Regional Track Meet in July. Um, the school said they're really excited to partner with this organization and also kind of, you know, provide this opportunity to show uh, people from all across the, uh, the region some, some uh, Forester hospitality. Uh, that's a look at the Herald Press for December 6th. We encourage you to pick up a copy, and we will see you tomorrow.